The Carl Zeiss Jena 35mm f2.4 was produced in two main versions, the M42 mount Flectigan and the Practica mount Practica. These lenses are some of the most highly recommended vintage lenses you can buy, and the better known Flectigan versions in particular have an almost cult status. I've already posted a YouTube video on a Practica I borrowed, and in this video I'm going to be looking at how a Red MC Flectigan performs. But before that, a very quick recap of my conclusions on the Practica. I used the Practica on a Sony A6000 crop sensor camera, and I like the lens. It's a good lens, with impressive close focusing, and lovely bouquet wide open. However, I had two issues with the lens. Firstly, the contrasts and colours, especially on a sunny day, are rather muted, and the colours have a distinctive tint. They do need a boost sometimes in post-processing. This wasn't a big surprise, as I'd seen similar results from some other old Carl Zeiss Jena lenses. The second issue involves the Practica's sharpness wide open. The copy of the lens I was using wasn't as sharp wide open as I'd expected, and nothing like the results you can expect from a specialist modern macro lens, for example. It hasn't ruined the look of the majority of wide open shots I've taken. Indeed, I feel it adds a kind of attractive dreaminess to images. And the Practica sharpened up nicely when it was stopped down. So this doesn't have to be a show-stopping defect to one's enjoyment of the lens. If you want to take close-up shots of the lens with more clarity, you simply need to stop it down. After posting my review, I received comments from Flectigan owners who told me that their lenses perform much better wide open than the Practica mount lens I borrowed. One of the commentators was Warwickshire Wanderer, who has kindly lent me his Flectigan to try. It's a red MC version with six blades and a minimum focusing distance of 0.2 meters. With the M42 mount lens, because I've got the right adapters, I have the additional advantage of being able to try it on both crop and full frame sensors and see how the lens performs on the full frame format this wider angle lens was originally designed to cover. And I do feel that the Flectigan is a more versatile lens on full frame, combining the close-up focusing capabilities with a wider angle walk around and landscape perspective. Here's a comparison of the Practica on a crop sensor and the Flectigan on a full frame sensor. Not the same day, not the same light, not the same things going on, but you can see the advantages of the wider angle view. I really like the results here from the Flectigan. The captured light is beautiful, I think. So let's look at the Flectigan's performance, specifically in terms of the issues I've mentioned. Contrast, colours and wide open sharpness. Starting with how the Flectigan renders contrasts and colours, it has a similar look to the Practica. On a sunny day, the colours are a bit muted, with what I'd describe as a distinctive old Carl Zeiss Jena tint. You can see it here in this straight out of camera photo. The tones in the sky are not what they look like in reality. Having said this, I rather like the Carl Zeiss Jena colour rendering when I'm taking photos closer up and when I'm taking photos with a lot of background blur. After a little bit of processing, the reds, in particular, can have very rich tones. And look at the 3D pop from this photo of an Ace of this Autumn after processing. I think it's a superb result. Not many old lenses can produce a result like this. Overall, if you pixel peep, it's not perfect edge to edge, but I don't think you'll be disappointed if you're prepared to do the processing. Colours, of course, aren't everything, and the Flectigan can deliver excellent images for converting into black and white. I'm enjoying playing with monotone processing with a variety of images. Looking at the Flectigan's rendering between wide open and stop down, I've read that some people aren't so keen on the lens's bouquet stop down. So I did a test along a fence in the sunshine to see how the lens performed. And here's a transition from wide open, where the lens produces a very nice result, to stop down. I can see what people mean. Those six blades don't handle the highlights or the contrast between light and dark very sympathetically. I've got another example here. To be fair, the background isn't very pretty, no matter how the lens renders it. However, to return to positives, the lens close focusing at f2.4 gives you strong subject isolation, and in the right conditions you get a great 3D pop to the image, and the background blur is wonderful, with a lot of character. One other strength I should mention here is that this Flectigan has reasonably good flare control with its multi-coatings. It does flare, but it controls bright light well, especially with a good hood. Moving on to sharpness wide open, and this Flectigan, as Warwickshire Wanderer demonstrated before he lent me his lens, is crisper and sharper wide open than the Practica I tried. 
And here's my comparison of shots taken with the Practica and Flectigan, and you can see how much better the Flectigan is wide open. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not completely fussed about this difference, as the dreamier ghosting from the Practica was quite lovely in some shots, but I completely understand that people want their lenses to be sharp wide open, maybe not as sharp as modern digital macro lenses, but still sharp, and this Flectigan is easily sharp enough. To show you how sharp it is, here are a couple of photos, both straight out of camera, starting with a wide open shot. And now stop down to f11. The results are very impressive, even only under kitchen lights. Now at this point, I should talk about whether the Flectigan and the Practica are the same lenses with the same optical designs, apart from the lens mounts. Reading reviews online, I thought that the mounts were the only big difference. However, in the comments below my first video, David Clapham commented that he didn't believe the Flectigan and Practica are the same because, to quote, I bought the Practica with the view to repair my Flectigan and found the internals to be completely different. Nothing was interchangeable. And Peter Snow observed that the quality of Practica lenses is generally thought not to be as high as that of earlier Carl Zeiss Jena optics and sample variation was quite pronounced. But then, online, some people argue that the newer Practicas from the late 1970s and 1980s have better coatings and are less likely to have the mechanical and lubrication issues the Flectigans sometimes have as they age. And of course, there are different versions of the Flectigan as well, with different opinions about which version is the best. It's a debate you'll need to research on the internet, as I've only tried the Red MC version, and it would be great if you could comment below with your experience of these lenses. If you don't already own a Flectigan, now I've tried one of the lenses, do I recommend you buy one, especially if you're looking for a film era lens at 35mm? They are clearly one of the better film era lenses, and they have some characteristics that justify their legendary status, most noticeably the close focus and the character of the bouquet. However, because of the Flectigan's relatively high price these days, it is up against some stiff competition from old and new lenses. I personally wouldn't use this kind of old 35mm lens as my main walk-around lens or holiday lens or for landscapes. Modern lenses optimised for digital sensors with excellent coatings provide higher quality results, especially detailed contrasts and colours, and today's autofocus is so much more convenient for family photos. And despite the close focusing capabilities, the Flectigan is not as close focusing or as bitingly sharp as a good specialist macro lens. In terms of bouquet, the Flectigan has real character for artistic shots, the kind of look that encourages people to buy old lenses. But is the bouquet noticeably better than that produced by considerably cheaper old fast fifties? I don't think so. So I'd say, if you're relatively new to collecting old lenses, then the Flectigan in particular is a lens that certainly deserves a close consideration, as your prime lens in the 35mm focal range. It's a good lens, a sort of surrogate fast 50 on crop, and a fine wider angle lens on full frame. I personally think it's rather expensive for what it delivers, and if you break down how you're actually going to use it, there are better options out there. But it's got that strong reputation in the market, and it retains its value well, so you're not taking a big risk in buying one. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Flectigan. I certainly enjoyed having the chance to try one out, so thanks again to Warwickshire Wanderer for lending me his lens, and until the next time, all the best.